My name is Harmeet Kaur. I am from Punjab, India. This is Mehdi Hassan Shimon. Uh, I am from Bangladesh. I am from Sri Lanka. I am from Nepal. My baby, a uh, born with blood X trophy, born. What is this? What uh, We don't know the name also, actually. But I didn't know what it was. Very painful for us. My gynecologist and my family didn't know uh, what to do with that baby. I didn't know what to do with that baby. टेंशन में आई गया था मतलब बे दिवस तो मैं जम याद नहीं आधा पिता वगैरह रहा मगर जब ना चले गए आप बीमारी नो इलाज के भी रीते थे से आता आपने कोई दिवस ना हमरी जाती बीमारी ना जो ही जाती माय नेम इज़ असीम शुक्ला आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिक यूरोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट द चिल्ड्रन्स हॉस्पिटल फ Bladder extrophy is probably the most challenging anomaly that we deal with in pediatric urology. It's also one of the most devastating ones for the effect that it has on the child and the entire family and, and the entire child's ecosystem. There's a lot of stigma that goes with this, and these families feel like they're shunned. They feel isolated. For a child who's done nothing wrong, to be held accountable for something that they have no control over is really unfair. So by working with these children, getting their physiology and their anatomy put back together in a way that we know and we're learning how to do better, we are allowing them to go back to that normal pathway of childhood. We went from table to table, bed to bed, and we saw bladder extrophy complications in older children, in younger children. We saw bladder extrophy where there have been catastrophic failures. We didn't know if we were even prepared at that time to even begin this undertaking. But what came out of that was the beginning of a relationship. Every year, you can see it started with two. Today, this time, there are 40 people from USA. Started with two patients of bladder extrophy, now we have 142 families, and this year we are going to add 15 more. We felt that we really don't have all the answers for these problems, but if we work together over the long term, and if we commit to coming back here year after year, perhaps we could really start to learn something about this disease that has really bedeviled our field for so many years. We are not the best surgeons in the world, but we are trying, we are trying to give whatever is best is there for this patient, particular patient. And that's where we are now, 12 years later. Perhaps the biggest names in pediatric urology or those doctors who are world renowned for their expertise in bladder extrophy have been here, are coming here, and are committed to being here at Civil Hospital. This is a very unique collaboration. We've got a team of surgeons now, we've got a team of anesthesiologists, we've got a nursing team, we've got a team of people who are going to be talking to the families and just talking with them, making them happy, interacting with them, not doing anything surgical, not doing anything medical, just getting to know them better and assuring them. Share what you're grateful for, but acknowledge what is difficult at the same time. That's the true success of this program has been that the spread of knowledge and the building of capabilities and capacity here at Civil Hospital is such that we're here for two weeks out of a year, but the rest of the 50 weeks, the team here is able to deliver consistently the same level of high quality care for these children. It has not only helped the local team, but has also helped us as collaborators so we can bring all that knowledge back to where we work at 
and now it's become international with over 10 nations being represented or coming in for the workshop. I know the families have come to realize that they have got an incredible team of doctors who are providing amazing surgeries and yearly ongoing care. And they also know now that they have the Association for the Bladder Extrophy Community advocating for them and teaching them how to live with their condition. But most importantly, they know that they have each other. They've built a community here and they support one another every day. And they now know that their children will have the opportunity to realize their greatest life purpose and potential. The only hope for her future is that she understand what she is. I just want to be with herself that I'm very different from everyone and everyone should know me that who I am, not because of my problem, but how I have recovered from that. I do what I do. Why do I do what I do? I do what I do. I do what I do. I do what I do. Do what I do. The hardest part is like getting it in one sentence. I do what I do because I believe that healthcare inequalities shouldn't exist anymore. And in a small way, that is one of the, my callings is to make sure that every child has access to world class care. I wake up every morning, I get to work with an incredible team, whether it's at Cincinnati Children's Hospital or here at Civil Hospital in Ahmedabad or any other place I get invited to work with people who have a singular focus and that is to provide world-class care to a child who is sick so that we can make them healthier because a healthy child is a happy child. What better calling than that?